Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris, this is Taylor Welding. This video has nothing to do with welding, although you could build a siphon pipe out of regular steel pipe. You guys that got pipe laying around, you could actually weld this up, it's not a problem. But how it works, I got a good friend of mine, Lynn, um, just known him forever, great welder, and he's asked me some questions because he's working on a pond right now, so I thought I'd make a video for everybody. So, your siphon pipe comes through the levee, through the water, and down to the bottom of the pond, okay? Now, this end is on the other side of the levee, and all of it's covered up with dirt, and that's where the, you know, starts the siphon, and it'll siphon out. Now, here's the little regulator. Here is the pond pool stage. It's right here. So, okay, so, that's the piece that goes in the water. Leave that cap off, plug this one. It sucks the pond down to that level. See how it's on an angle? That's how it works. You leave that cap off, plug this one or vice versa. Plug them both, it'll suck the pond out. I'm gonna show you the other end. This is the shooting line. This is target practice, a good place to Find a copperhead, but that's the end of it, and it goes down in the ditch. Okay, I hope that explains the siphon pipe. Uh, like I said, it's got its pros and cons. If it was me, uh, if I had to do it again, I would still do the siphon pipe in case I needed to pull the pond down. Uh, but as far as using it all the time to, to regulate the pond level, uh, I would also put a big 20 inch culvert in is what I'm gonna do, and that's where it'll be. The siphon pipe will be for. When this thing, when you get water and the water comes up over this, it starts, it's siphon. When it gets over this four inch pipe right here, it's gonna start a siphon. But as the pond, you know, starts to fill up, it's got a buffer, right? It's got like a four foot buffer from here to here. So it fills up with a big rain, and this will slowly pull the water out. Now you can use four inch, six inch, or even bigger. Uh, it, you know, whatever you want to do, depending on the size of your pond. But uh, if you cap this off and you cap this off, that's your two outlets, your, uh, where it sucks air to stop the siphon. Uh, if you cap those off, it'll suck it dry. So if you want to bring your pond down, you can cap this off and fill this up with water and with a garden hose fill all this up right here and then pull the plug and that dude will just it'll start siphoning and you can you know pull your pond down to work on your dock or whatever you want to do that's what i like it for i like that ability to do that now uh here's the problem everybody understand that leave any questions you got in the comments uh i've noticed i get so much runoff when the when the water gets up here my dock is about a, an inch from going all the way underwater. It'll start at siphon, you know, as soon as it gets here, but it's not pulling enough to get it all. And as it's up here, it starts going over the emergency spillway, which that's not what you want all the time. That's why you would want to use a siphon pipe is to let it out uh, slowly and not have to deal with a bunch of erosion and all that. But like I said, it fills it up too much and then it pulls it down too much in my opinion. So your dock's almost underwater and then it's way out of the water. So I'm actually gonna put a culvert in, a 20 inch culvert, and I'll still have this option if I want to, but that's how it works. And oh, by the way, I did put a filter right here uh, just to keep any trash. All that is is a piece of, uh, it's a four inch collar that I uh, took some galvanized wire mesh and went around and, and made a little, just a filter to keep trash from getting in it. I don't know if it ever would, but it just seemed logical, so I did that. And that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and have an awesome, awesome day. Later. 